In this video, we'll look at whether calcium nitrate, that's CaNO32, is ionic or covalent. The short answer is that overall, this is an ionic compound, but within this nitrate ion, we do have covalent bonds between the nitrogen and the oxygen. So let's take a look at this. Calcium, that right here, that's a metal. So calcium is a metal. Nitrogen and oxygen, we have nonmetals for both of those. So when we have a metal plus nonmetals, that is an ionic compound. So calcium nitrate is an ionic compound overall. Since it's ionic, we really should take a look at the charge. So here in group two, we have calcium. That has a two plus ionic charge. The nitrate, this is one you really should remember, NO3, the nitrate, has a one minus charge. And that's on the entire nitrate ion. So we have a one minus, we usually just write minus. And since we have two of these, we have two nitrate ions, we have a total negative charge of two minus. And that balances out the two plus. We have a net charge of zero. Because we have ions, we have the calcium ion, which is positive, two nitrate ions, which are negative. Those positives and negatives, they're attracted. They're ions, and that's what forms the ionic bond. Let's talk just a little bit, though, about the nitrate ion. So we said that nitrate, that's a nonmetal. And oxygen is a nonmetal as well. So when we have a nonmetal plus a nonmetal, that gives us a covalent compound, also called a molecular compound. So the nitrate, it's a polyatomic ion, and these bonds between the nitrogen and the oxygen, these covalent bonds, they're fairly strong. And the nitrate ion, it tends to stay together when we have chemical reactions. So if I were to put this in water, I'd have the calcium ion, that would break off and dissociate. And then the nitrate ion, I'd have two of these NO3, one minus ions also dissolving in the water. So overall ionic compound, but the bonds between the nitrogen and the oxygens in this nitrate ion are covalent. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.